Have you ever found yourself tangled in a confusing piece of code, wondering if you'll ever get it right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the world of Python inline if statements and how to use them effectively. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when you're trying to modify your code only to be met with errors like key error. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face similar challenges when learning new syntax. Let's take a closer look at the specific question at hand. One user asked about the syntax of an inline if statement in Python. They wanted to know how to avoid adding duplicate values to a list while modifying their if-else condition. Sound familiar? Let's break it down together. So what does this inline if statement actually mean? The line of code in question checks if a value exists in the dictionary. If it does, it appends the box to the existing list. If not, it creates a new list with the box. This can be a bit tricky, but once you grasp it, it becomes a powerful tool. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a tip that will help you avoid common pitfalls when using inline if statements. To understand the inline if statement, let's break down the original line of code. The user has a dictionary called twins and is trying to add a box to a list associated with a specific value. The inline if statement checks if the value is already in the twins dictionary. If it is, it adds the box to the existing list. If not, it creates a new list with the box. Now, let's look at the modified condition. The user changed the inline if statement to a standard if statement. This makes it clearer and avoids the key error. However, the modified code still has a potential issue. If value is already in twins, the code will raise a key error when trying to access twins value. To fix this, the user should initialize the list for the value if it doesn't exist before trying to append to it. This can be done using the set default method. Fun fact, did you know that Python was named after the British comedy group Monty Python? So if you ever feel lost in your code, just remember, even the creators had a sense of humor about it. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach provided by a user suggests using a standard if-else structure. They recommend checking if the value is in the twins dictionary. If it is, append the box to the existing list. If not, create a new list with the box. Additionally, the user suggests using the dict.get method. This allows you to simplify the code by providing a default value, which eliminates the need for an if statement altogether. Here's the tip I promised. Always check if a key exists in a dictionary before trying to access it. This simple habit can save you from many headaches down the line. And there you have it. You now have a better understanding of inline if statements in Python and how to avoid key errors. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more coding tips. And remember, practice makes perfect.